but I find it simplest to illustrate it by hearing without comment so that you can get into tune with what is. You can't really get out of tune with it, but we don't know that yet. <laughs> Maybe some of you do. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome back to the show Trucking Tendencies. I got this one uh, Robo Truck out of uh, the magazine. Landline. Landline magazine. Uh, Robo Truck by Tyson Fisher, staff writer. So, tractor trailers with no human driver aboard are starting to hit the highways. Several autonomous truck companies showcased their latest advancements during the consumer electronics show earlier this year but commercial viability may still be years away this year's ces show in las vegas revealed some promising progress in the world of autonomous trucks including a truly driverless truck for scaled deployment However, the autonomous vehicle industry has to overcome several obstacles before billions of dollars in investments being begin to pay off. Kodiak and Aurora removing human safety driver. While there have been several pilot programs in a handful of states involving level 4 trucks, those programs required a human driver behind the wheel. Not anymore. At CES, Kodiak announced its sixth generation autonomous truck that it claims is the world's first driverless ready semi truck designed for scale deployment. We're the first and only company to have developed a future a feature complete driverless semi truck with the level of autom uh, automotive grade safety redundancy necessary to deploy on public roads. Don Burnett, founder and CEO of Kodiak, said in a statement, over the course of, uh, order, over the course of 2.5 million miles, we've successfully demonstrated our self-driving trucks can withstand the harsh environment of long-haul trucking from both a platform integrity and a software perspective. I want to hold my my tongue on that one 2.5 million miles is not that that's 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 about one career or that's one one decade of driving or two decades of driving so that's two years of driving or uh, i mean 20 years of driving a truck that they're going to release onto the road so that's that's shouldn't that's not enough time but so um this truck fundamentally demonstrates that we've done the work necessary to safely handle driverless operations. Although CES is known for showcasing technology concepts, Kodiak already has plans to deploy its autonomous trucks without a safety driver. Shortly after the show, the company announced it will launch its first driverless operations later this year. In partnership with Ryder, the driverless operation will run on Interstate 45 between Dallas and Houston. Not to be outdone, Aurora made a similar announcement during CES, along with a German company. Continental, the autonomous truck tech company, has finalized the design and architecture for its Aurora driver level 4 driving system. Like Kodiak, Aurora has plans to deploy driverless trucks on the same I-45 Houston-Dallas route. However, Aurora's announcements also came with a production time. Beginning the production phase in 2026, Aurora plans to deploy thousands of autonomous trucks across the U.S. in 2027. Last June, Loadsmith announced it will purchase 800 Kodiak trucks, which will be delivered in the second half of 2025. Will federal regulations keep up? As autonomous truck companies are gearing up for deployment and scaled production, government regulations may hinder progress. 
Currently, there are no there are no official federal policies regulating or guiding the autonomous vehicle industry. According autonomous, accordingly, autonomous truck deployment is subject to a patchwork of state regulations. According to the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety, 35 states have laws addressing autonomous vehicle deployment. Of those states, Connecticut, Hawaii, Illinois, Massachusetts, New York, and Vermont require a human driver. Although most of the states allow deployment of autonomous vehicles, several allow only testing. In Indiana, a bill is floating around the p- that prohibits autonomous trucks without a human driver. Similar bills are being considered in Florida, Kentucky, and New York. According to a survey of autonomous vehicle industry leaders, 60% of respondents believe regulation is the biggest bottleneck to the adoption of autonomous vehicles. Federal regulations overseeing safety never envisioned autonomous vehicles when they were created. Consequently, manufacturers have to apply for an exemption from the Federal Motor vehicle safety standards even then companies are capped at 2500 vehicles when receiving that exemption autonomous vehicle stakeholders are urging the u.s department of transportation to move forward with a proposal called av step which would raise the cap in exchanging for more data from companies av step was mentioned by ann carson carlson then the acting administrating administrator of the national highway traffic safety administration during a keynote speech last july carlson teased a notice of proposed rulemaking for a step during her speech as of late january none had been introduced while companies like Kodak and Aurora are preparing to deploy autonomous trucks throughout the country in just a few years, the current regulation framework, or the lack thereof, may severely limit those ambitious goals. Autonomous Truck Concerns Manufacturers may be eager to expedite the deployment of autonomous trucks, but the trucking industry and the general public have expressed trepidation over the emerging technology. Public perception of autonomous vehicles has worsened over the past few years. Last year, a AAA survey revealed that 68% of Americans are afraid of self-driving vehicles, up from 55% the previous year. Only 9% said they trust self-driving vehicles. Many in the trucking industry echo that uneasiness with autonomous vehicles. Liu Pug, executive vice president of the owner operator independent drivers association worries about the reliability of self-driving technology i think most people continue to be concerned and rightfully so pug said by bluetooth on my my bluetooth on my pickup struggles to connect some days yet we are expected to believe that semi trucks traveling 85 miles per hour on a texas highway changing lanes and passing other vehicles will not have a connection issue face it if they have if they do have a connection issue this isn't a matter of i can't answer my a phone call or play my itunes this could be a devastating disaster in addition pug wonders why autonomous trucks weighing tens of thousands of pounds and moving at least 65 miles per hour are being deployed on nation on the nation's highways before autonomous passenger vehicles in the state where self-driving cars are being tested those vehicles are confined mainly to city streets in california for example six companies have a permit for driverless testing all but waymo have speed limited to 45 miles per hour and also are limited to only certain public roadways Autonomous Truck Restrictions Pursued in Multiple State Houses by Keith Globe. So that's what that one um, on Robo Truck. Yeah, I, it can get figured out. If we really wanted to figure it out, I bet you we could. Um, it would be like a giant. I mean, these trucks, I mean, what? 
what could possibly work would be like a a designated dedicated lane like they have for fast track um fast track trucks fast track uh um toll roads and stuff like that uh if they put those trucks into those lanes where they're like specifically designed just for those trucks and no other vehicles can enter that um those that's the only lane that these self-autonomous trucks so it'd be like a free uh like a, a newer version of a train like a more independent um truck lane train lane um on a train track it would make sense uh for it to be deployed faster but um as far as letting it go without a driver that's that's probably not the best idea it's just a crazy situation uh they're right i mean the the pug's right they have um trucks or cars that are not even getting uh fully released into the public for transporting people in cars and imagine these big semi trucks and trailers so I don't know. Uh, thanks for uh, sharing that, uh, writing that, uh, Tyson. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please uh, share this if you find any value in it. And uh, keep on trucking. Eyes on the road. Thank you.